Heavenly Father. Lord, we have reached that point in the service where it's time for your word to go forth. And Father, we realize that hell is against your word. But Father, we pray that even at this time that you will take us out of self. Put us into your spirit. Open up our spiritual ears so that we can hear what the spirit is saying to the church. Lord, we pray that your word not be hindered by any standing by the other forces that can it go out and accomplish those things which you intend. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We're often tossed <laughs> yeah. and driven on the restless sea of time. Sea of time. Summer sky and howling tempest well. often see a bright sunshine. <laughs> All right. All right. In that land of perfect day, mm. when the mist the have rolled away. Yeah. We'll under, under. stand it back. <laughs> by and by. by, and by. Yeah. We're often destitute Lord, help us. of the things that life demands. The want of food, want of shelter, thirsty hills and barren land. Lord, mm -hmm. We're trusting in the Lord. Trust and according to his word, All right. we'll understand it better yes. by and by. Yes. Temptations, Temptation. hidden snares, <laughs> often take us unaware. Yes. Lord, help. And our hearts are made to flee for many, many. of thoughtless words of deed. And, mercy. and we wonder <laughs> why the test when we try to do our best, but we'll understand it better yes, sir. by and by. Yes, sir. Trials are dark on every hand, and we cannot understand all the ways that God will lead us to that blessed promised land, but he guides us. With his eyes. Yes, Lord, help us. And we'll follow, follow. till we die. We'll understand it better. Lord, have mercy. By and by. By and by. By and by. Oh, when the morning comes, when all the saints of God are gathered at home, we'll tell the story. Lord, have mercy. How we overcome. We'll understand it better. Bye and bye. That's one of the ways I encourage myself. Yes, sir. Oh, hymns. Yes, God bless you. Hebrews chapter 6. Giving honor to God, our Father, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. One that keeps us and seals us to the day of redemption. My dad in the ministry, Pastor Birkin, Mama in the ministry, yeah. Yeah. And, and Mama over there on the piano, yeah. and my brother in the ministry, Brother Megs, my deacons and New Mount Vernon deacons, and all of our father's children that are in here today and the honorees. Amen. God bless your heart. Yes. It should be a day yes, sir. that we honor the ones that we meet at the door. Amen. That we disrespect more than anybody else. Yes, sir. It should be a day be. that we give honor yes. where honor is due. Yes, Have mercy. In the sixth chapter of Hebrews, we're going to 
observe verse 10 in your hearing today. Yes, sir. We're not going to read anymore because I promised New Bethel that if they come, it won't take long. That was a trick. <laughs> As Daddy would say, I'm reading from the original King James Version of God's holy writing. You'll find these words. For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have shown toward his name, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister, you may be seated. Have mercy. Serving the Lord will pay off. You notice that I stopped yeah. right there. Yes, sir. I love the song just like everybody else do. But it's not paying off after a while. No, no, no. After a while, it's for those that are not saved yet. Have mercy. My Bible tells me in John 10 and 10 that the thief cometh to steal, uh -huh. kill, and destroy. Uh -huh. yes, but Jesus said, I've come, I've come that you will have life All right. and have it more abundantly. Yes, sir. And if we get it, what the, the young folks say, that common colloquialism on the street, if we get it twisted, uh, we won't understand what Jesus was talking about there and we'll, we'll start thinking that, that we're supposed to be heaping to ourselves a bunch of stuff but when Jesus said I came that you will have life uh -huh. he meant forever life yes, so every believer ought to know that God is paying off right now All right. because your life began the day that you accepted Jesus Christ yes, as your Lord and Savior Amen. All right. I'm glad we read the scripture because I won't get no further than that. That's a good word right there. That's good word. Yes, sir. But as we said before, there should be honor given where honor is due. Amen. Sometimes we spend a lot of time trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh-huh. We, we, we spend time trying to ask people, what is it that I'm supposed to be doing? Well, And even the things that I'm doing, why am I doing those things? <laughs> it's something in us that really want to know sometimes. We will find what God wants us to do in the word of God, but sometimes we just don't trust what the word of God says. So we're always looking for something else. Yeah. Why are we looking for something else? Yeah. I told a little fictitious story at, at New Bethel the other day, and, and it, it, it was something that had some real meaning to it. Uh -huh. that, that story went like this. It said a man was, was really seeking the Lord. Yeah. He was really wanting the Lord to tell him what he wanted him to do in his life and, and the man was just praying and seeking the Lord and, and the Lord told the man he said, I want you to go outside. <laughs> and there's a big rock, <laughs> a boulder outside of your cabin. I want you to every day push that boulder. Yes, sir. I want you to push it now. So every morning, the man knowing he had heard from the Lord himself would get up and he'd head outside and he would get up against that old rock. Mm -hmm. Gloves on, boots planted in the ground and just push, mm. just push and push. Mm. And every morning, the next morning, he'd get up, get him some breakfast and head out the door and just like a regular work day and get up against that old boulder and just start pushing. Mm -hmm. Just, just, just push. I got, I got, I got to push this thing. And, and after a while, do you realize mm. When things don't start happening like you want them to happen, Lord, you'll start letting that old devil talk to you. Yes, sir. Say, man, why are you getting up every morning? Yeah. Heading out the door to push on that rock. 
Don't you look like a fool pushing on that rock? So after a while, by and by, he got down on his knees again and he asked the Lord, he said, Lord, why, why? do you have me pushing on the rock? Uh -huh. I had moved that rock one hour older. Yeah. I said, I hold it last time. But, it, <laughs> but I hadn't moved it at all. Yes, sir. That rock is not moving. And God began to speak to him again. All right. He said, I never told you it was going to move. <laughs> I just told you to push. Yes, Sometimes we need to remember to just be faithful to what God said. Amen. Your, your work and your service will not go unnoticed by God. God sees yeah, yeah. what you're doing. All yes, right. Sir. Yes, sir. The Hebrew writer here was talking to and trying to encourage some people in the Lord. Uh -huh. Some of them were saints and some of them were ants. Uh -huh. But here he was trying to encourage some because some thought that they could actually lose their salvation and everything like that. And that they were all messed up and twisted up. And, and, but the writer oh, saw that it was a group there. Yeah. Yeah. That had their mind and heart on the things of God. Yeah. Uh -huh. And he began to talk there. And, and that first statement that he made, I can get locked on that first statement. He said, for God is not unrighteous. Well. God is not yes. unrighteous. Yes. Does anybody know that? <laughs> we were doing a Bible study the other night. And I told some people that God at one time used a lying spirit. <laughs> To deceive one of the kings. But that lying spirit asked could he be used. And God said okay you go ahead and you're going to be successful. But God himself is not unrighteous. I hear the statement made all the time. And this, this might get to somebody. But I hear the statement made all the time. And I, I, it's one of my horses. You can't box God in. I hear it just like you do. <laughs> and I believe yes, sir. that I can't box God in. All right. All right. But God box God in. All right. God will never be unrighteous. Amen. God will always be holy. Yeah. God will not step out of his person for you and me. As a matter of fact, he said in his word that I am the same today. Yeah. Yesterday right. and forevermore, I have the Lord God changes yes, not. I'm not changing. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Right. So if you don't like what he's saying in the word of God, I'm just sorry for you. Yeah. Because this is all he's saying. I know that everybody come up to you telling you God is doing a new thing. That's the hip thing to say now. Yeah. <laughs> God is saying the same thing. Same thing. He said, before I say something else, heaven and earth will pass away. Yeah. What, what you looking for him to say? It's because you don't want to get in line and do what you're supposed to do. That's right. That, that's why you're looking for him to say something else. Yes, sir. Preacher, get off that and go on. <laughs> God is not unrighteous. Yes, sir. He's not unrighteous to forget. Uh -uh. I have trouble with my member. I heard one of my one of my members say one day that that, that son got close to, to, to 80 something and he, he said he may be a little bit older. <laughs> but he, he said, I can walk into the next room and I forgot what I went in there after. I said, man, I ain't nowhere close to 80. That and that happened to me. <laughs> it happened to me when I was 16. Yeah. <laughs> Had to go back and say, well, did I, what did I go in there for? That's so that's just a, a, a common thing. Yeah. But God, but God. <laughs> he doesn't forget. Mm. Amen. He, 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 it's nothing wrong with his memory. No. He's not short on remembering. Uh -uh. Now, there are things that he chose not to remember. Right. He even told you and me to our benefit. He said, for my own sake will I remember your sin no more. Yeah. For my sake, not for yours, for my sake, I won't remember your sin. Wow, what a yes, mighty God we serve. Yes, sir. For my sake. Wow. Yes, sir. <laughs> Our God. He said, I won't forget your work. Lord help. Ushers. God said, I 
I'm not forgetting. Amen. It, 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 you might be at the end of your rope sometimes, sister. It might feel like you want to take up your marbles, daddy would say, and go to the house. Yes, sir. <laughs> because somebody done stepped on your toe and then you had an attitude when you tried to get them a seat, when you tried to fan them a little bit, knowing that they needed some air, and when you tried to give them a handkerchief, they act like they, they said something bad to you. Just going through stuff, God didn't forget. Sure your work. He's not forgetting. No, sir. He won't forget. He, he, it's, it's not getting away from his mind. God won't forget. Uh -huh. that, that matter of fact, that's that, that's 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 my first point. Lord Jesus, we can deal with that. All right. Everything that you and I do is building up the kingdom. Yeah. Because if it's not kingdom building, it's kingdom tearing. Mm -hmm. So everything you do for the Lord, the Lord counts it to. You're a cat. Yes, sir. Now, understand now, uh, your work didn't bring you to the place of salvation. Well, your work can never get you to the place that you would be saved. Well, but after you are saved, the Bible said that we are saved unto good works. Right. There ought to be some goodness in you. Right. We actually talked about that in the, in the message this morning. Yes, and, and, and the goodness good. that you do won't save you. Yeah. But that that you do after you say is credited yes, sir. to your account. Yeah. Right. And the Bible said God will not be in debt to anybody. Right. He'll pay off yes. right now. Yes. He's paying you right now. God didn't forget the work that you're doing. He, as a matter of fact, he doesn't forget that labor of love. But why in the world did the Hebrew writer have to say the labor of love? Why? The reason that he said labor of love is because it's hard to love some folks. Jesus. <laughs> Lord Jesus. That's just the truth. <laughs> yes. See, the reason you don't understand what I'm talking about right now is because you are thinking that love is tied up in emotions. That's why we got the friends on the face of the book telling you that if he didn't do this and she didn't do that, they don't love you because that person is lying to you. <laughs> yes, sir. Love is a labor. Yeah, labor. Love is a choice. It takes some kind of love to sit there and walk down the aisle with somebody to find a seat. And you know good and well when you find the seat and they sit beside somebody they don't like, they're going to look at upside your head like they can't stand you. It takes some kind of person to just love that person anyway. Yes, sir. Knowing that they're cussing you out in their mind. Yes, sir. And you probably cussing them out too. Have <laughs> mercy. Uh -oh, crazy preacher. But I, 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 I tell this brother all the time. Back during the days, I'm not going to I'm not, I'm not I'm 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 put you out there real, but I'm going to say back during the days, when we were young, I could cuss. Yeah, yeah. Y'all don't tell about outside of here. Keep this to yourself. I could cuss. Yes, sir. I think I invented some of the cuss words that people use today. <laughs> And I, I would I would throw those four letter words on folks and then one day sit them with the daddy and told daddy, Lord just cuss me out. Daddy said, I quit cussing as a teenager. <laughs> that bothered me. That daddy didn't jump on me about that. That's right. That's right. So I quit cussing as a teenager. I'm around everybody else and they letting them fly. Lord. And I just stopped cold turkey. Yeah, yeah. But but I tell people now, I said, now I know how to conduct myself a little bit better All right. than I did at one time. Yes, sir. So now I shake your hand and smile and walk away from you. Yes, sir. But I just cussed you out in my mind. Have mercy. <laughs> and people say, preacher, you can't say that. I'm telling you the truth because I know what I did. That's why I needed my Savior. I need him today because I realize that everything in me is not just right. For the righteousness that I have is tied up in the person of Jesus Christ. All right. All right. Yes, sir. 
I choose not to speak those things verbally. Have mercy. But I can't keep things from coming across my mind sometimes. That's right. I know how to act, Daddy. You taught me. I, I, I shake his hand and smile. <laughs> But if he know, <laughs> it takes something out of you sometimes to love folks. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Do you think it's easy for a mother to love a child that's hurting on every hand? Lord, but she do? Yes, sir. Because love is a choice and have very little to do with feelings. Amen. Feelings are not love. Uh -uh. If you get tied up in feelings, your marriage ain't going to work. No, sir. It's a decision you make to love. Yes. Amen. Forsaking all others, to death do us apart. It, it, it takes somebody to just decide to love. Yes, yes sir. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And ushers, you have to do it more than anybody. Have mercy. Well, the preacher, pretty preacher, we can walk, if we wanted to, we can walk out the side and do. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes, but y'all got to see them on the way in. Yes, sir. Make them comfortable while they're there. Oh. And see them on the way out. Lord, have mercy. Take some real love. Real love. Hey. <laughs> yes, sir. Preach, Pastor. Also, the Lord. Won't forget your ministry. See, maybe some don't understand that it is a ministry. You have a junior and a senior usher board. The junior ushers are looking at how the senior ushers conduct themselves. They're, 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 they're learning all the time. I can remember when I was here, I saw the same thing happening. I, I saw that that. that that how you had to shape yourself and do things just right. And I, I actually saw how people don't always treat you right. One of the worst things for, for an usher to have to do is try to do a funeral. Four people just won't act right. I got to have a program. You better give me a program. Where's the family? Yes, sir. Boy, I don't know how y'all hold it together at the funeral. <laughs> I don't know how it's I probably been one of them with that main street. Hey, can I get a program? <laughs> yeah, I need something to take home. Yeah. <laughs> we do that just like we do meals at the church. You, you gotta carry out. <laughs> Care out program. <laughs> but serving the Lord, it'll pay off. And God has not forgot the ministry that you're involved in. Sure See, the way that you conduct yourself as an usher, yeah. it has a great teaching inside of it. When you humbly take that person down the aisle, yeah. when you look for a place for them to sit, yeah. When you wipe the tears from their eyes, yeah. when you bring water to the preacher when he when he's thirsty, when you do all of these things, uh -huh. God has not forgot that you are part of a ministry yes, and you are a special class of people. Yeah. It may not look like it sometimes, but may not look like some people appreciate it. But a good preacher, yeah. they appreciate the ushers. Amen. Yes, sir. They keep some of the headache off of them. Mm -hmm. Serving the Lord, it pays off. Yeah, it, does. it will pay off. Yeah. You have actually put your feet to the work that has to be done inside of the body of Christ. Yes, you, I want you to understand God hadn't forgot you. Yeah. You have acted like this thing belonged to you. Yeah. And that's the way God wants you to act because it does. If you are a believer. I told another little story the other day. And we're going to end right here. And Sister Nora, I promise this time. We're going we gonna to get on through this. That, I, that was a young man that was working on a farm for an older couple. Uh -huh. And this man, while he was working on that farm, he, he, he had always noticed things. He was the only hand they had. And every morning that he'd get up and he'd head out toward the old barn. Yeah. 
And while he would be walking along there, he'd look up at the old barn and he'd think to himself, boy, that thing need a little bit of paint on it. Uh -huh. and, and then he'd walking along the ground, he'd have to step to the side to, to walk past a pothole. And, and, and then while he was walking past the potholes, he noticed that the slats on the old fence where the cows were kept was about to fall out. Yes, sir. And he'd go out there and milk the cows and do all the things that he had to do that day. And then he'd head back up toward the house. Yes. And he'd head back up toward the house looking at the roof they could bury. And he said, these shingles, if they don't do something about the roof on the old house, uh -huh. it's going to be leaking after a while. Yeah. But then he would think to himself, he said, it don't belong to me. Uh -oh. So he would go on about his daily task. Uh -huh. And every day he would look up and he would see these same things walking out to the barn, looking at the slats on the fence, looking at the holes in the driveway, looking at the old barn near the paint job, yeah. looking at the shingles on the roof. Yeah. And every day it was just the same thing, seeing the same thing, and he'd always come to the same conclusion. It don't belong to me. Lord. But after a while, by and by, the old man and the old woman, they called him over for supper. They said, young man, I know it's one thing that you notice. Uh -huh. We can't hardly help you anymore. The things we used to do easily, we can't get out there and help you milk the cows anymore. We can't get down there like we used to do to put shoes on the horse's feet. We can't hardly help you anymore. They said, but if you will look at the situation in reality, we didn't have any children, so we don't have anybody to leave anything to. So if you don't mind, if you'll do it, we'll let you have all of this. It'll be yours. Yeah. The next morning, the man got up and he headed out toward the barn. Uh -huh. And he looked at the barn and he said, that thing need a paint job. The next day, he had a ladder up against the barn and he was putting a little paint on the, on the barn. He looked down and he saw the potholes in the road. Yes, he got him an old wheelbarrow and he started filling up the holes in the road. The slats in the fence, he started with, him, with his hammer putting the slats back on. The next day he had a ladder up against the house, toting shingle to the top. And everything had changed because it's mine now. It, they, they still treat me the same way. They still cussing me out. But I realize that I'm an heir to the kingdom of God. I am a joint heir with Jesus Christ. I get to go with Jesus and be with him one day. I don't know about you, but I understand what happened there at Calvary. I understand that my Savior died. He died right there. Looking out at a Christ-rejected world. Looking out at people that just didn't care about him at the time. And he proclaimed to himself that, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. I don't know about you right now, but every time I think about uh, what Jesus did to me, I, I get a little loose sometimes. I, I saw my Savior hanging there on the cross, uh, looking down, uh, old centurion soldier, seeing the things that were happening at that time, how the earthquakes came, uh, how the sky was darkened, uh, how the moon went down in blood, uh, how dead men got up out of the grave and began to walk up on the earth. The veil of the temple rent in two. I know the man said, surely this is the Son of God. My Jesus, he died there on the cross. He died for my sins. He died for your sins. Somebody said it took real love. He had to work on the love that it took for me. So serve the Lord. It won't just pay off after a while. It'll pay off right now. And I look at my Savior. He said, I have the power to lay my life down. But I also have the power to raise it back up again. At the proper time, he laid his head over and he died. But it didn't end right there, Daddy. If it would have ended right there, we would have been saved both in the grave. But early Sunday morning, my Lord, my God, got up from the grave, stepped on a rock, and proclaimed that all power, heaven and earth, is in my hand. Do you know that serving the Lord, it'll pay off right now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh.
brother. 